Hi everyone, so today is day six of our Cricut Christmas crafting challenge and we will be making this beautiful etched glass dish. It's actually much easier than what it looks like and it is so much fun. Let's get going. For this project, we're going to use our Cricut cutting machine, a standard grip cutting mat. I'm using the Cricut stencil vinyl, but I think a better option almost would be the permanent vinyl. It just creates a better seal on the on the actual back of your Pyrex dish and that way you can avoid your armor edge from smearing or going underneath your stencil. To clean the Pyrex dish we're going to use some isopropyl alcohol and a coffee filter. We need a measuring tape, some masking tape, your weeder and scraper tool. And then last but not least I'm using armor edge etching cream and a brush. First thing I want to do is just measure the back of my Pyrex dish to determine the size of my stencil. So in the top half here, just seven and a half around. So I'm going to make sure that my stencil is no bigger than that. When you open Design Space, click on the New Project tab at the top of your screen. And what we want to do next is upload an image from an external source. So the design that I'm using, I've downloaded from Creative Fabrica and it's a free design. So I've downloaded it onto my computer and it's sitting in a certain folder in, in my Windows Explorer. So what we want to do is if you go on to upload, you say upload image and you're going to find that image in your actual on your actual computer. You can then click on browse or you can actually go into the folder, find the SVG and drag it onto this page. Once that's been done, the image will show up on your screen. Change the name of the image to whatever you want it to be and say upload. The image will then show onto your recent uploads. You can click on that and say add to canvas. There we go. So we will have to actually just resize this image. So I'm going to just make it a little bit smaller before I add a shape. So if I click on shapes and I add a circle here, I'm going to change the size to 7.5. And if you remember correctly, that's what I measured the back of my, my dish to be. So that's basically the size that I need my image to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click on the circle and say send to the back. And in that way, my image will actually show on top of it when I move it. So that looks about right. So I've resized it to be 6.25 wide. So what I want to do is I'm just going to click on the circle at the back and delete that. And then I want to click on my design and say attach. And in that way, when it's cut out of my stencil, it will all be cut exactly the way the design is laid out right here. We can now go ahead and say, make it. I'm going to use my mat. So I'm saying on mat, I'm using a 12 by 12 inch mat. I'm saying confirm. And then just check your settings on the left hand side. It's a basic cut on mat, 12 by 12. And because we're going to put it at the bottom of our dish, we need to mirror this image. So click on the mirror tab and say continue. To set my base material, I'll go browse all materials. And then I need to go on to all categories and find vinyl. So the vinyl that I'm using, like I mentioned to you, I'm using the stencil vinyl. So just go down until you find it and there we go I'll click on that and say done if you are using permanent vinyl or even removable vinyl just choose whichever one you are using before you say continue my pressure I'm leaving as default I'm using my fine point blade I can now go ahead and add my stencil vinyl to my mat and load my mat into my machine
Once your cut has been completed, remove your mat from your machine and reverse weed your design. So reverse weeding means that you're actually weeding the design that you usually would leave um, and you leave the background. So as you can see here, I've actually weeded out the letters of my design and once I place that onto the Pyrex dish, that is what will be etched out. We can now go ahead and add our transfer paper to our actual weeder design. So what I'm going to do is just remove the backing of my transfer sheet and then just slowly lower it onto my design. Going to use my scraper tool to just make sure that it's adhere to all the small little elements of my actual design. We don't want to lose those. And we can then go ahead and remove the backing sheet. now go ahead and add my design to the back of my Pyrex dish. So just eyeball it and then put it down. So the most important thing now is to make sure that the stencil vinyl sticks properly to the back of our dish. So we just want to make sure all the little bubbles, especially around the edges of the letters, just make sure that it it sticks down properly. You can now go ahead and remove your transfer sheet. Just stick down any little pieces that are threatening to come along. Once your transfer sheet has been removed, just run your scraper tool around the edges of your words actually just along the entire design to make sure that it sticks down properly. We're now ready to add our armor edge to our actual dish. So just make sure that you shake it properly. And then you can just take a little bit at a time. Don't need a lot of this. And just maybe start at one edge and work your way across. So the trick here is to number one, not make this too thick. Number two, to make sure that it doesn't actually become stagnant anywhere. It doesn't stay on a certain spot too long or too thick. And in that way, you'll get a nice even spread of your actual etching. So just continue doing this for five minutes. So now those five minutes has passed, we can go ahead and wash our armor edge from our design and remove our actual stencil. And then you have your beautiful dish all done, ready for your Christmas pie. So if you like this craft today, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and be sure to let us know in the comment section below if there's any specific Christmas crafts you want to see during the course of this challenge. See you tomorrow.